Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. Coulons have just released their new series of extreme CPU water blocks for 2009. The CPU 345 is an innovative solution for water cooling, comes with hinged and pivot posts, curved cold plate, as well as acetyl and acrylic caps. So let's check out the new CPU 345 from Coulons. The CPU 345 water block kit includes your CPU 345 CPU water block, rear mounting plate, top tensioning plate, thermal paste, pivot posts, pivot balls, tension springs and tension nuts, and two silicone backplate insulators depending on your socket and application, as well as aluminum and copper sensor thermal tape. The cap is drilled and tapped for G-quarter threaded nozzles, so with a relevant size nozzle is compatible with 6, 10 and 13 mm liquid hoses. This water block is flow directional, so be sure to hook the right hoses up to give you your in and outlet flows. Unlike some of the other manufacturers, Coulons have made this block with a threaded cap so you can disassemble it for cleaning at any point in time. With the water block cap removed you can clearly see the inlet in the middle of the water block and the flow path across to the collection chamber on the outer edge. Also when reassembling the water block make sure the o-ring is seated correctly. Let's have a look at the cold plate. This is a high density copper cold plate with a nickel finish for corrosion resistance. Here you can see the engineered curve on the base of the cold plate to give us a better seating and better fit to the CPU. In order to reduce the top footprint of the tension plate and reduce the potential of conflicts with components on the top of the motherboard, Coulant's come up with the innovative idea of a hinge post assembly. I've never really assembled one of these previously, so we're going to do a quick test assembly prior to mounting this on the motherboard. The test assembly rig consists of a backing plate, a piece of quarter plate glass in place of the CPU without thermal paste, and what's going to be nice about this particular test is we can see how evenly that thermal paste is spread across the surface of the CPU, or in this case the piece of glass. We have our top tension plate, you can also see in the tension plate where these have been machined to accept the pivot balls, our CPU 345, tension springs and tension nuts, and pivot balls. First we're going to install our water block on the piece of glass just as we would if it was a real CPU. Next we're going to install our top tension plate and pivot balls. And finally your tension spring and tension nut. Tension all your tension nuts equally and evenly. Make sure they're firm, but do not under any circumstances over tighten these, otherwise you could potentially damage your CPU water block or your CPU itself. So let's turn over this test rig and check out the footprint of this CPU water block. Wow, that's a pretty clean footprint. The dot you see in the middle there, that is the peak curvature of the CPU water block. As you can see, perfect displacement of all the thermal paste, no air bubbles. That CPU water block is sitting flat and parallel to what would be the CPU. That is perfect for heat transfer. Let's conduct a comparable benchmark between the Coulant CPU 345 and the fan-cooled heatsink that came standard with this CPU. And uh, for this benchmark, we're going to be running back-to-back -back Cinebench 10 
we're going to run continually 10 runs and we're going to log the temperatures with Everest Ultimate. And here is the stock air cooler that come with the Intel Core i7-965 Extreme CPU. Nice blue LEDs, but let's see how it performs. Whoa, look at those temperatures, 79 degrees, 80 degrees, and this CPU isn't even overclocked. This is 3.2 gigahertz stock clock settings on the Core i7-965 CPU. That's unbelievable. And here is the CPU 345 installed on the EVGA X58 motherboard. You can see the hinge posts on the top. And look at the clearance, look how small the footprint is of that top tension plate. Absolutely phenomenal. Let's check out the temperatures. Whoa! 49 degrees, 45, 44 degrees. In comparison to the 80 degrees we were getting off the air cooler, this is absolutely phenomenal. This CPU isn't even overclocked. This is 3.2 gigahertz stock settings on this extreme CPU. Absolutely phenomenal. I think these results pretty much speak for themselves. The stock Intel air cooler 80 degrees on Core 1 and 2, the Coolant CPU 345 running 49 degrees. Just imagine if you were to overclock this CPU on air, you'd have a mess on your hands. The CPU 345 from Coolant has a significant effect on cooling your CPU under any conditions. For more information on the CPU 345, visit this web link www.coolant.com for more information. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, especially you guys who are my subscribers and wish to thank those who post comments and rate these videos. However, if you wish to stay up to date on the latest and greatest in technology, feel free to subscribe. Thanks again, guys, and take care. Thank <laughs> you.